Blessings, welcome to Jessica Balance Ministries. I have a message, and it's glove up, fight on warfare keys. So these are keys to help you war against the enemy and to claim what is yours. So the first key is binding and loosing. So to bind is to tie or fasten tightly, restrain, impose. Loosing is not rigidly fastened or secured, free from a state of confinement, restraint, or obligation. To release. So the Lord gave me scripture, Matthew 16, 19, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So prayer points for this, we loose healing, we loose the perfect will of God over our life, our bodies, we loose our finances, we bind all enemy assignments, we bind sickness, bind attacks on our finances. God's promises are activated when we loose, and when we bind, we are stopping the devil from touching what is ours. The next key is protect your mustard seed or faith seed. So Hebrews 11.6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. And Matthew 17.20 says, And he said to them, Because of the littleness of your faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. So when we come in agreement with our faith, our faith seed, we're in agreement with his will, his purpose, and plan. Sometimes through life, obstacles can come and it seems difficult and we really all we have is this faith seed to use to get us by a faith seed is still very powerful so keep it protected because a mustard seed is very small but it's one of the biggest trees the next point is or key is declaring and decreeing so declaring and decreeing is an authoritative command job 22:28 Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. So an example of a declaration or decreeing is, I declare God's dream for my life. It's coming to pass. I will not be stopped by people, disappointments, or adversities. God has solutions for every problem. The right People and breaks are in my future. I will fulfill my purpose and destiny. This is my declaration. In Jesus' name. The next key is speaking and reading scripture. Matthew 4, 4. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So when you read the word, speak the word, it gives you wisdom. It gives you truth. You start to perceive the world differently. It changes you from the inside out. You become a new creation, just like the caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. One thing that the Holy Spirit um, showed me was a caterpillar lives on the ground. He has to climb up the leaves. He's got to work hard. He's He's got a lot of effort in his life. Butterflies, when he's turned into this butterfly, beautiful butterfly, it flies freely with little effort and flies to the tops of the flowers. And he goes higher. So when you read scripture, your soul, your spirit, you go higher, you get better understanding. And this is one very important key. The next key is be separate. 2 Corinthians 6, 17. Therefore, come out from them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you. So, so th- this scripture actually, separate it means separate from those 
that you feel that you have to please them. Those you discern that are not for you, people that are transactional, meaning what do you have to offer them? Mindset. A good question to ask is, do their actions match their words? Love's an action. So when you love someone, you show them with your actions. So if someone is telling you they love you and they're not showing with their actions, they don't love you. So come out from among them and be around people that will clap for you. Be around like-minded people. If you surround yourself with wise people, you will become wise. And the last key is praise and worship. Praise and worship can be anything. You can be thanking God within yourself, with your, with your mouth, with your words, um, through song, through dance, through uh, going to church if you want. But the Lord knows when we thank Him, it is a sense of praise. It is, it's true praise and worship. Psalm 145.3, great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. So when you do praise and worship, you bring heaven to earth. Angels come down when you praise and worship the Lord. Darkness has no choice but to flee when, when you're doing praise and worship. And I don't know, but I love to sing to the Lord. That's one thing I do. So I guess like this one's like best for last because praise and worship is very special to me. It's time with the Lord. It's time with Jesus. So thank you very much for listening to my video today. Um, I really hope that you use these keys to take back what the enemy is trying to take from you. Use your authority, my friends, and stay close to Jesus. God bless you. Keep your mind on things above. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh my soul.